I would like to have um, some help to install the device care on my computer here. Sure, yeah. So it's easy enough to get started. First off, you can go to endress.com and we'll just uh, type into the search device care. All right. Cool, and it'll be this one down here. And we go ahead and, and we uh, we click on um, access software portal. You can see just under the image. Right there. Yeah. Now, if it's a thing that you haven't been into the software portal before, you'll have to register. So that's really easy to do. Just uh, keep in mind that the email address that you use to register will be the email address that the link to software download will be sent. All right, we logged in. Great. So um, under your software portal, um, and if you go to uh, downloads, now underneath downloads, you'll see field care package. And under there, you'll see device configuration software. And if you that little tree, you'll be able to see that the, the, there's lots of uh, different uh, types of download that you can have there. The one that we'll go for is Device Care SFE 100. So we can simply select that, then scroll up to Request Download. Something to keep in mind there too, is that once you, uh, you click on request download, an email will be sent to the email that you use to register in this software portal. Um, this should happen pretty instantly. If it's a thing that you don't see the email come in, make sure to check your spam just to make sure that the email hasn't been caught in spam. Okay, and I think now it's going to start asking for, yeah, oh, we've already done it. Used, so really it depends on what device you have in front of you and uh, what digital protocols that or connectivity options that device in particular has that you ordered. It's possible, obviously, when you're ordering a device from Anderson Hauser to have it with a, any any sort of digital protocols that you that you need, whether that be Foundation Field Bus, Profibus, um, Ethernet IP, IO Link, or um, as I said, 4 to 20 Heart. Mm, okay. Um, so we'll just click on heart for now. Okay. okay. So, so do you? Because I don't do have a device. You, ah. Okay. Okay. So then, what I'd suggest, um, what I'd suggest, there's two ways, um, in which you can connect to a heart device. If you've um installed a heart modem to your computer. The little playhead there to the left hand side will show up magenta in color and that and that tells you that it's found a heart modem or some sort of a connected modem that you can use to automatically connect to your device. If you don't have that or if you'd like to select a, a method, well then you can select uh, the assistant option, which is the middle option and here it will allow you to select the type of digital protocol that you'd like to use, the modem that you'd like to use, and then connect to your device manually. Okay. Um, can we do any of these right now, or do I still need a device? Uh, you would, but but you know, let's let's try the assistant, and I can walk you through what it looks like to to manually connect. 
Okay. So if you click on assistant. Yeah, I clicked on it. Great. So once you've clicked on that, you'll see that it should give you an option of diff whatever digital protocol that you'd like to use. So if we take the example of heart, you can select the heart option. Okay. Now, um, fortunately, I don't see your screen. I still see the home screen. Ah, we are behind again. <laughs> We'll just, uh, cool. Is it uh, back? Great, yeah. Okay, so once you've selected uh, the heart protocol, next it's time to select the um, modem or interface device that you'd like to use to connect to your instrument. So, um, you know, let's select the Commubox FXA195, which is an Anderson Hauser heart modem. All right. All right. Um, now, I'm not sure how far you really want to go, Luke, because um, without a device, um, you won't be able to really kind of show much more, you know? Mm -hmm. um, how much more is there to go with a device? Um, so you could, um, if you have an Anderson Hauser device, you could connect to it. You could uh, look down through the parameters in within the device. You could uh, save a device configuration. Um, if it was a level device with a commissioning wizard, you could run through the commissioning wizard, stuff like that. 